liberal viewer present. So Gretchen Carlson, despite her undergraduate degree from Stanford, may be the worst of all the Fox News anchors when it comes to making dumb statements, and that's quite an accomplishment at Fox News. So I shouldn't have been surprised this morning at Gretchen Carlson's response when our friends at Fox discussed the case of Madeline Primoff, a New York mom arrested for making her 10- and 12-year-old daughters who wouldn't stop arguing get out of her car three miles from home, and by the time she drove around the block to scare them, one of her daughters was missing and later turned up at the police station where they arrested Madeline Primoff for child endangerment. So, Gretchen Carlson reacted to the story by saying that more important than determining whether parents should engage in such behavior is the problem of getting caught. Really, that's what she said. I'm not making it up, as you can see for yourself in this clip. But we can all relate to this as parents, right? And it's whether or not we yeah. would actually do it. More importantly, that, that she got herself into the difficulty of getting caught. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, Unlike Gretchen Carlson, I don't think the difficulty of getting caught is the really important issue, but rather the real issue is the difficulty of drawing the line between permissible parenting and child endangerment and abuse. In New York, where this mom lives, for example, Section 35.10 of the State Penal Code allows a parent to use physical force on a child when she, quote, reasonably believes it necessary to maintain discipline or to promote the welfare, unquote, of the child. So it's hard to see how a few minutes on the side of the road should be criminalized. In fact, when I was a public defender in Missouri defending poor people accused of crimes, I used a similar law that went even further, Section 563.061 of the Revised Statutes of Missouri, which allows a parent to use force on a child so long as it's not, quote, designed to cause or believed to create a substantial risk of causing death, serious physical injury, disfigurement, extreme pain, or extreme emotional distress, unquote. Now, to me, that sounds more like the definition of torture than child abuse, though it was my legal duty to use that defense for my clients, regardless of my personal belief that even hitting kids is wrong. Plus, even though I don't hit my daughter, I'm not sure exactly how far beyond that point other parents should be allowed to go before bringing in law enforcement, which often makes things worse. So, I want to know what you think. How do you draw the line that puts permissible parenting on one side and battery, child endangerment, and child abuse on the other? And on the more ridiculous question... When it comes to child endangerment, is Gretchen Carlson correct that the more important problem is the difficulty of getting caught? I YouTube, you decide.